Bend, Indiana. Temperatures in the high 70s and a great crowd expected at Notre Dame Stadium to ring in the Marcus Freeman era. It's the blue gold game today and it serves as a pivot point in the year to wrap up a spring of preparation and begin a summer of anticipation for the season opener 133 days from now against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Here's some of the rules today for the 91st ever blue gold spring game. I think of note there at the bottom special teams will be live but we expect a fair amount of fair catches today. Nobody wants to get hurt in the final day of the spring. Absolutely. Also no overtime. So this game <laughs> will end on time. Coaches are happy about that too. Quarterbacks not allowed to get hit. That doesn't mean a defensive lineman is not going to get close. Typically they'll blow the whistle dead. It'll pull, blow the play dead if the player can put their hand on the quarterback. So Drew Pine back on the field to work with the gold team. As neither team has been able to move the ball very successfully. He's going to let it rip on first down. And it's a beautiful back shoulder throw to Braden Lenzi, who makes the catch a 24-yard pickup on first down. A wonderful connection between two players who trust each other. Drew Pine sees that he's got coverage on the top side, which means it's going to be a backside throw. And also Braden Lindsay stopping at the last second to come back to the football turn his body excellent catch We all have those times where our best wasn't good enough But coming back showing up that makes the difference in your success down the road third down pine will let it go and it's intercepted Justin Walters has the pick and he's on the move run out of bounds at the 33 yard line And it's the first takeaway by the defense today Excellent play by Justin Walters and Drew Pine doing what coaches say they want They're looking for who will take care of the football. Drew Pine did have some pressure, had to step up, made the throw, but a little high. And there you go. Walters gets the first interception of the spring game. I also like, here's what I like. Rocco Spindler, number 50. You think you're going to outrun a lineman? No way, baby. We're the best offense. <laughs> We're the best players on the field. The big fella getting after it. Logan Diggs as well, making sure that it doesn't happen. But big play by Justin Walters. That's got to feel good. You saw him there with his with his kids on the field. He's yeah. made a point that he wants this team to see him being a father as well as being a coach. And there was a great example right on the field. He has the the young kids out there talking to him before the game. Also, where's your mother? Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, make sure the family's around. But you know, Marcus Freeman is going the extra mile. Excellent play right there. Uh -oh. Troy Patello. Can he run it back? Oh, come on, big fella. A player who's been trying to make a name for himself doing so on that play. So they took the interception off the board from Walters after a five-yard penalty. And then Batello, someone we've already talked about, Ryan, makes a huge play. Well, they're in the zone. And the big thing with zone coverage from your linebackers, follow the quarterback's eyes. Jordan Batello not only getting it, but catching the football. That doesn't always happen. Red zone opportunity for the gold team as Pine will drop it off. Looking for a screen to Mayer that time. And it's intercepted. Maris Leofau makes the pick, and the goal, and the blue team has another takeaway. Wow! Another turnover. Maris Leofau. Held celebrate, young man. Heck of a play after breaking and dislocating his leg. What a play. So Maris Leofau has the pick, and the blue team with the lead has the ball back. They fake it to Diggs, throw it out, and it's caught for a touchdown. And it's Yan Andrew Yanishak who has the first touchdown of the game. What he does, he goes down and blocks a little bit and then comes back out, gets the ball, secures it, lowers the shoulder across the goal line. Congratulations. The sophomore from Belford, Pennsylvania, did not appear last year. In his second season with the team, he has the first touchdown of the day. And it gives the blue team the lead here late in the opening half. Brian Mason's the new special teams coach coming from Cincinnati to join Marcus Freeman's staff here in South Bend this year. So that'll be something to keep an eye on as Jadarian Price catches the ball out of the backfield. And uh -oh. he's got some room across the 20, inside the 10, and he's into the end zone. Jadarian Price has the first touchdown of the game for the gold team. Fantastic play call, little screen, blocked by the offensive line. Zeke Carell getting downfield, and then Price just turning on the Jets, getting to that angle, that front pylon, keeping his feet in bounds. Excellent Let's finish. Go. Let's go. Excellent execution. Let's go. Let's go. Coach Free likes Let's it as go. well. Let's go. Good job, baby. Good job. Only Brady Quinn, Ian Book, Tommy Reese, and Jimmy Clausen have more career touchdowns than Ron Paulus on the right side of your screen. His son on the left side. 
in the shotgun to work here with about half a quarter remaining in the blue gold game. Gives it to Audric Estime, who shakes off one tackle, now a second across midfield, refusing to go down. He's inside the 35-yard line with his best run of the day. And that's continues. A running back is getting better as the game goes on. Should have been stopped right there. Nope, the legs keep turning like butter. Spins out. That's three defenders. There's a fourth one. And he's going to run over the fifth one as the sixth one tackles. I mean, come on. That's amazing. On the move, and Jelly without a huddle, now just 14 seconds left. Has to get the snap off quickly. Clock's down to 10. And Jelly now puts a man in motion. Clock is winding down. Just six seconds left. And Jelly rolling out on the move. He pumps. He'll run for the end zone. Dive for the pylon. It's a touchdown. Steve and Jelly, as time runs out, wins the blue gold game for the gold team. What a finish. Steve and Jelly, the hero of Notre Dame today gets out, fakes with the pump fake twice. Oh, and then he's going to run in the dive. Oh, over the pylon. What a moment for the early enrollee. Go win the game, young man. And he does it in style. The Super Bowl lead right there. Woo! I'm here to tell you it's the greatest finish in blue gold spring game history. They've played 91 of these. And Angeli with the walk-off touchdown wins it. Marcus Freeman got exactly what he was hoping for today. Hey, you want your quarterback to make a big play at the end of the game. And Steve Angeli, the early enrollee from New Jersey, doing it with his feet after getting downfield with his arm. What a moment for the young man. That confidence will last him a career here at Notre Dame.